Hi, my name is Diya. I'm 16 years old and I live in Mumbai. Today, I'm going to be reading the story The New Girl by Sri Vidya Venkant. There is a new girl at Meera's bus stop today. Everyone stares at her. No one talks to her. On the school bus, everybody sits with their friends. The new girl sits alone. At school, Salmanis has a new surprise for Meera and her classmates. We have a new friend in our classroom. It is the new girl. Everyone stares at the new girl. She looks different, they say. Salmanis says they must be kind and helpful to Zini. That's the name of the new girl. Meera remembers being the new girl once. Nobody spoke to her. Nobody played with her. She smiles at Zini. Zini smiles back. During our period, Meera shares her crayons with Zini. At recess, they share their lunch. They sit together on the bus ride home and even play in the evening. They are best friends. Some children make fun of Zini. They call her names that means foreigner. She is Indian. Meera tells them angrily, but they simply laugh. Zini is upset. It's okay to be different, Meera tells her. Meera has often heard her mother say that to her brother, who gets teased about his glasses. One day, Salmamis gives them a new project. Everyone is excited. Everyone except Zini. What should I do, Meera? She asks. Don't worry, Zini. You can talk about your family, festivals, or your home, Meera tells her. But they will laugh at me, Meera, she says. When you speak, just look at the people who are nice to you, Meera tells her, remembering her mother's words. When the big day arrives, there is plenty of excitement in the classroom. Salamis takes pictures of them in their costumes. Zini is not to be seen. She was not at the bus stop either. Meera hopes she is not skipping school on this special day. Soon, it is time to begin. Parth is wearing a traditional Angara Khochorno from Gujarat. His twin sister Pooja is wearing a Chanya Choli. Together, they perform the Garba. Veena sings a beautiful freedom song in Tamil, her mother tongue. Other children talk about festivals and traditions, food and famous people of India. When it is Meera's turn, she proudly presents a slideshow about the princely state of Rajasthan, where she was born. Then, someone with tall headgear walks in. It is Zini. They can hardly recognize her with her costume and makeup. Meera can tell that she is nervous. I come from Mizoram, one of India's 29 states, Zini begins. Everyone listens intently. They've never heard her speak much. My dress is called a Puanchi. Now I will show you a Miso dance called Chelam. Salma Miss turns on the music. Zini begins to move gracefully, enjoying herself. Some children giggle, but she ignores them. She is enjoying herself so much that nothing can stop her. Soon, Salma Miss joins Zini. A few children dance along too. Others, like Meera, clap to the rhythm of the music. Everyone is having fun. When the music stops, so does Zini. There is a sudden silence in the classroom. Salma Miss applauds. The entire class joins in. On the bus ride home, Zini is very happy. You were right, Meera. It is okay to be different. No one teases Zini anymore. She is now one of them. Thank you.